गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू तथास्तु आई सी एस एज यू नो तथास्तु आई सी एस इज रनिंग प्रिलिम्स स्पेसिफिक प्रोग्राम नेम्ड प्रिलिम्स आधारशिला अंडर विच वी आर मेकिंग अ नंबर ऑफ वीडियोज फोकसिंग ऑन प्रिलिम्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एज पार्ट ऑफ दैट आधारशिला प्रोग्राम आई विल बी कवरिंग द हिस्ट्री पोर्सन एंड टूडे वी विल बिगिन द हिस्ट्री पोर्सन विद द प्रीवियस ट्रेंड प्रीवियस ईयर एनालिसिस of questions of ancient india after this medieval india and modern india will be covered in subsequent lectures as you know with time the importance of ancient india is increasing in the prelims portion so let's see the trend along with the trend i will be also discussing in brief about the various questions so all the questions which we have been asked in last 8 years from 2016 to 2023 i will be also discussing them in brief so if we see the trend analysis the number of questions asked in 2016 2017 and 2018 it is 5 3 2 and 4 if we take the average of these four years it is around 3 to 4 questions every year but if you see from 2020 to 2023 the average has increased to 6 to 7 questions which is double of it so if you see the importance of ancient india every year 6 to 7 questions are being asked which means which means around 15 to 20 marks is getting impacted because of ancient history portion alone so this has become very important in recent times so i will be discussing with you the various questions the various specific areas from which upsc is asking question from ancient india as well as in brief about their answer and also in between various sources which upsc is referring other than the ncrts like romila thapar like upinder singh like krishna reddy book other books which upsc is referring for framing its questions so let's begin the trend analysis with 2016 questions the first question is which one of the following books of ancient india has the love story of son of founder of sunga dynasty if you talk about sunga dynasty who was the founder pushmitra sunga was the founder and his son was agni mitra so it is talking about agni mitra and agni mitra fell in love with whom malvika malvika was the female servant with whom agni mitra fell in love so this is about malvik agni mitra and who had written this kalidas had written this so basically upsc is asking question related to books as we will see in subsequent years upsc has been repeatedly asking questions about the books as well as the various scholars in the prelims examination so this should be one of our main area who of the following had the had first deciphered the edicts of emperor ashoka ashoka is another idea, area from which upsc repeatedly asked questions like if you see this question who was the first person james princep in 1838 deciphered the ashokan brahmi inscription for the first time where it was written devnam piya and piyadasi taking the third question with reference to the religious history of india consider the following this is related to buddhism buddhism as you know is a favorite area of upsc the concept of bodhi sattva is central to hinayana sect it is not hinayana rather it is mahayana sect if we see the second question bodhi sattva is a compassionate one correct bodhi sattva is a compassionate one a kind one third statement bodhi sattva delays achieving his own salvation to help all other sentient beings correct bodhi sattva helps other human beings also in achieving their goal of nirvana or salvation so this is also correct so answer is 2 and 3 seeing the next slide if we see the next slide another set of questions so what is are common to the two historical places known as ajanta and mahabalipuram 
सो क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट अजंता एंड महावलीपुरम वन इज लोकेटेड इन महाराष्ट्र एज यू मे बी नोइंग एंड महावलीपुरम इज लोकेटेड इन तमिलनाडु बोथ वेर बिल्ड इन द सेम पीरियड रॉन्ग अजंता वॉज बिल्ड इन द पीरियड फ्रॉम सतवाहना टिल वकटका और गुप्ता पीरियड यू कैन से एंड महाबलीपुरम इफ यू सी इट वॉज द कंस्ट्रक्शन ओवर देयर और द रॉक कट केव विच वेर कंस्ट्रक्टेड ओवर देयर वेर इन द पीरियड ऑफ पल्लवाज सो बोथ वेर नॉट इन द सेम पीरियड बोथ बिलोंग टू द सेम रिलीजियस डोमिनेशन रॉन्ग वाई बिकॉज अजंता बिलोंग्स टू बुद्धिज्म एंड महाबलीपुरम बिलोंग्स टू द हिंदू टेम्पल्स Hindu rock cut caves. So basically, both are both are not same religious domination. Both have rock cut monuments. Correct. So only three is the answer. So this is also another area from UPSC asked question that is rock cut caves. The famous rock cut cave sites. Ajanta will come again. Ajanta has been asked a number of times with reference to the cultural history of India. Memorizing of chronicles, dynastic histories, and epic tales was the profession of which of the following? This is a difficult question. Why? Because this is not given in the normal books. Answer is Magadha. This is given in Romila Thapar's book, Early Early Indian History. So, if we see this, Sramana is there were two type of tradition in ancient India. One was Brahmana tradition, another was Sramana tradition. So, Sramana tradition deals with the heterodox sects like Buddhism, Jainism. All these were under Sramana tradition and orthodox brahmana tradition were about vedic rituals and other things so sramana cannot be the answer parivarjaka parivarjaka means those who used to wander who you wander for the search of truth so parivarjaka cannot be the answer these these were wanderers parivarjaka have been asked again in upsc upsc repeats the theme from previous year question ye aage bhi aayega pehle bhi aage bhi pucha ja chuka if we talk about agraharika agraharika is what Agraharas were the villages donated to the Brahmin Brahmins by the king, and the head of that village was Agraharika. So it is related to Agrahara village. It has nothing to do with the memorizing of chronicles, dynastic histories, and epic tales. So this is also wrong. So basically, right answer is Magda. But this is a difficult question, which has its source in Romila Thapar's book, which is a book for optional. Taking to the next slide. If we see the 2017 question, if we see the 2017 question, what type of questions were asked? Again, the favorite area, Buddhism and Jainism. So this is this is Jainism and this is Buddhism. So in one question, they have combined both Jainism and Buddhism. And what is the question? Sautantrika and Samatya were the sects of Jainism. Is it correct? Answer is. no they are sects of buddhism not they are not sects of jainism so this is wrong sarvasti vadin held that the constituents of phenomena were not wholly momentary but existed forever in a latent form it is this is correct this is a form of buddhism a sect of buddhism in which it is believed that the constituents the same phenomena continues in past present and future it is basically very unique why because buddhism in general believes in the transience of world but this is about the existence forever in a latent form so this is correct and this is wrong so answer is two only but this is about buddhism and jainism with reference to the difference between the culture of rigvedic aryans and the indus valley people which of the following statement statements are correct so they have compared rigvedic people with the ibc people and if you see the statements Rig Vedic Aryans used the coat of mail and hel helmet in warfare, whereas Indus Valley people did not leave any evidence of using them. This is correct because Rig Vedic people they used to they 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 were very adept in warfare and they had these helmets and moats as their protective gears. If you see Rig Vedic people's new gold, silver, and copper were IVC new only copper. This is wrong. Why? Because lot of evidence of Gold jewelry have been found from IVC, so you cannot say that they knew only copper and iron. Third statement is Rig Vedic Aryans have domesticated the horse, whereas there is no evidence of in the Valley people having being aware of this. This was very controversial statement, which were debated a lot. That what should be the current correct answer? But UPSC has said that this is the right choice. That is, in the Valley people were not aware of the horse. There is no evidence of Indus Valley people being aware of the horse, so the answer will be one and three. C. 
इफ यू सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द पेंटिंग ऑफ बौद्धि सत्वा पद पदम पानी इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फेमस एंड ऑफन इलेस्ट्रेटेड पेंटिंग एट एज यू नो एज आई टोल्ड यू दिस अजंता इट इज कमिंग अगेन अजंता इज वेरी फेवरेट इट विल कम अगेन इन एट ईयर्स अजंता हैव कम थ्री टू फोर टाइम्स यूपीएससी कीप्स ऑन आस्किंग सम थीम्स रिपीटेडली सो यू हैव टू गो इन डिटेल इन डीप अबाउट दोज थीम्स इफ यू सी द बोधि सत्वा पद्म पानी पेंटिंग इट इज देयर इन अजंता एंड इट इज गिवेन इन एन सी आर टी ऑल्सो देर इज क्लास इलेवेंथ इंडियन आर्ट एन सी आर टी यू कैन सी बिग पिक्चर ऑफ बोधि सत्वा पेंटिंग पद्म पानी हैज बिन गिवेन इन दैट गोइंग टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड If we see this question from 2018, so with reference to the religious practices in India, Asthanak Vasi sect belongs to. Again, question is coming from where? From Buddhism and Jainism theme. Again, the question is coming. Asthanak Vasi is a sect of the Jainism, not Buddhism. And this is not given in the routine book. It you can refer this from where? from krishna reddy it is given in krishna reddy book with reference to the this is from jainism not buddhism with reference to the indian history who among the following is future buddha future buddha is maitreya this is given where in indian art the ncert of 11th maitreya is being has been mentioned in that ncert so you can solve this from ncert itself moving th there were only two questions in 2018 moving to the next slide 2019 as you see number of questions are getting getting increased from year by year if we see 2019 which one of the following is not a harappan site simple question from sites upsc also ask questions from various sites they can be harappan sites they can be mauryan sites they can be sites in general we will see there have been a number of questions asked from various sites from of ancient india so we should know about them also so if we see harappan site chanhudaro kodiji both are in sindh and both are harappan sites and this desal is in kutch area of gujarat this is also a harappan site sohagura is not at all related to harappan site why because sohagura is a place in eastern uttar pradesh it is related to mauryan period the sohagura copper plate is there where the evidence of famine has been found so the answer is sohagura these are basically sites if you know you can do this by elimination also if you know chanhudaro kodiji and desalpura or if you are aware about sohagura so you can definitely do why because harappan civilization never the extension of harappan civilization was never to the eastern up it was restricted to western up only so sohagura is a place in eastern up around gorakhpur area so it can never be part of the harappan civilization in which of the following relief sculpture inscriptions is rhino asoka mentioned along with the stone portrait of asoka this is a difficult question generally not given in the routine book this has been given in upinder singh kangan halli is the place where there is a stone portrait of asoka is there with written ranyo asoka that is king asoka so answer is kangan halli and it is given where in upinder singh consider the following deification of buddha again see features of mahayana buddhism buddhism is a favorite area as i told you so what is the question first is the deification of the buddha that is buddha being becoming the deity buddha getting worshiped yes in mahayana buddhism they started idol worship buddha became a deity trading the path of bodhisattva yes the concept of bodhisattva is also related to which sect of buddhism mahayana buddhism and third is image worship and rituals correct all three are part of what mahayana buddhism the answer is d with reference to the first lever that is vishti during the gupta period which of the following is correct see this is another area the terminologies upsc ask various terms related to ancient history medieval history like we saw before magdha had been asked parivarjaka agraharika all these have been asked like this vishti is a Word which has been asked, what is does it mean? Basically, forced labor in Gupta period. It now they have themselves given that forced labor means vesti. Now you have to choose the statement. 
it was totally absent in the this cannot be totally absent the forced laborer was entitled to there were no weekly wages it was forced labor so they were forced to do there was no wages kind of concept of wages at that point of time the eldest son of the laborer was sent as forced labor there is nothing like this only one option is correct that is a source of income for the state it was a sort of tax which is paid by the people to the state so it is option a moving to the next slide Twenty twenty. If we see the number of questions in twenty twenty, it has increased to eight. What type of questions were asked in twenty twenty? First is with reference to the history of again see the terms, kul vapa and drone vapa. Different types of like whisky, like now kul vapa and drone vapa. These were what measurements of land. It is given where in Upinder Singh's book. It is given. that these were measurement of land with reference to the religious history of india consider the following statements first is asthar veerawadin belong to mahayana buddhism other is lokottarawadin so basically this question is related to the theme buddhism again buddhism is asked frequently in upsc examination buddhism and jainism these are the themes which upsc keep on asking repeatedly so if we see this Asthar Vida Vira Vadin. This was not part of Mahayana Buddhism. It was not at all related to Mahayana Buddhism. Second is correct, and third is also correct. Lokottar Vadin was an offshoot of Mahasanghika sect of Buddhism, correct? And the deification of Buddha. See, in last slide also we saw deification again. Deification of Buddha. It was it fostered the Mahayana Buddhism. Yes, the worship of Buddha Buddha is related to Mahayana sect of Buddhism. So this is correct. So answer is two and. Three. If we see the next question, who among the following rulers advised his subject through this inscription? Now see this inscription. Whoever praises his religious sect or blames other sects out of excessive devotion to his own sect, with the view of glorifying his own, rather injures his own sect very seriously. If you see all these options, Asoka was the only person who used to talk a lot about. respecting the other sects having tolerance for the other sects so that everyone can stay together so his concept of dhamma was related to this only so answer is asoka we have seen before also there was a question on asoka related to ranya asoka so asoka is one thing which is repeatedly asked by upsc so we should study in deep about the asoka and his inscriptions if we see the next question with reference to the history consider the following pairs again as i told you sites upsc keeps on asking famous sites from the ancient history so we should be aware about them like if you see this question famous place bhilsa bhilsa is nothing but the present vidisha present vidisha was bhilsa in ancient india so it is present in madhya pradesh correct dwar samudra is present in maharashtra dwar samudra was the capital of hoysala Helvid present Helvid was earlier known as Dwar Samudra and Dwar Samudra was the capital of Hoysala and Hoysala was was where in Karnataka not in Maharashtra so this is wrong Giri Nagar or Girnar which was a place in Gujarat correct Asthaneswar was in Uttar Pradesh no Asthaneswar is the old name of the place Thaneswar at present and Thaneswar is in Haryana as we know so this is where in Haryana so this is also wrong so correct is one and three only. but what we have to understand is various sites various important sites various capitals of the ancient india upsc keeps on asking so while preparing you should focus on those areas with reference to the scholars and literators of the ancient india consider the following statements so if we see the scholars of ancient india panini is associated with pushmitra sunga see panini is in 5th 6th century and pushmitra sunga in 2nd century bc Panini is in fifth, sixth century BC, and Pushmitra Sunga in second century BC. So they cannot be contemporary. So this is wrong. Amar Simha is associated with Harsh Vardhan, not at all. Why? Because Amar Simha was one of the Navratna of Chandragupta II. He is not at all related with Harsh Vardhan. Next is Kalidas. Kalidas is associated with Chandragupta II. Yes, he was one of the Navratna of Chandragupta II. The so correct is only three. Three only is the correct answer. But see again. various personalities from ancient india as well as 
the various rulers from ancient India along the scholars UPSC keep on asking about scholars we will see in later years also a number of scholars poets have been asked so we should remember these things next is with reference to the period of Gupta dynasty in ancient India the towns Ghantsal, Kadura and Chol were well known as now generally we are not aware of this but this Chol is mentioned in a number of standard textbooks including the Tamil Nadu book as well as the NCRTs others are not uh, not mentioned so these were basically ports handling foreign trade port is another area which UPSC asked in 2023 also ports have been asked so they repeat the theme so we you pick those themes from PIQs which are repeated in UPSC so that you can score high marks moving to the next slide In 2020 itself, as I told you, there were a number of questions. Now, as you see, with reference to the cultural history, which of the following is the correct description of the term? Paramitas. This is again related to Buddhism. This concept of Paramita is in Buddhism. The Theravada sect talks about six Paramitas and the Mahayana talks about ten Paramitas. But the concept of Paramita is mentioned where? In Buddhism. What is the answer? There is only one answer related to Buddhism. Perfections whose attainment led to the Bodhisattva path. Yes. Basically like in Hindu, Hinduism, we talk about the concept of Paap and Punya. The merits which we accumulate with our karma. In the same way, they also talk, talk about the Paramitas. The perfections they accumulate over a period of time. And this led to their salvation, the Bodhisattva path. Correct. So answer is C. The area which has been targeted is Buddhism again. Again, these three terms, this is again repeat. We have just seen Parivarjaka and Sramana. It had come again in 2020. As I told you, Parivarjaka is renunciant or wanderer, correct? One who goes in search of truth is Parivarjak. So this is correct. Sramana, as I told you, Sramana is what? Sramana is the opposite of Brahmana. There were two traditions, Brahmana tradition, Sramana tradition, heterodox tradition and orthodox tradition. So, Sramana is not a priest with high status. This is wrong. Another is Upasaka was the lay follower of Buddhism. This is also correct. So, answer is 1 and 3. 71 ka B. So, as you can see the various terms, various terminologies UPSC keeps on asking from ancient India. So, we you should be aware about that as well as the PYQs, you should keep on seeing them because they ask the repeat the themes. Moving to the 2021 PYQs. If we see the 2021 questions, if we see the 2021 questions, first question is which of the following ancient towns? See, IBC was asked 3-4 years back. In 2017, it was asked. Again, it is making a comeback. If we see the IBC, which of the following ancient towns is well known for its elaborate system of water harvesting and management. So basically it is talking about the water harvesting system. So basically Dhola Vira is very known place in IBC civilization which is known for its water management system. So now they are going deep into the specific uniqueness of the Harappan sites. One is the overall Harappan civilization and its features. Another is going deep into each site's uniqueness of each site. So you should also prepare a little bit about the various sites of Harappan civilization and their unique features. They can be directly asked. So Dhola Vira is in Gujarat and it was known for its water harvesting structures. From the decline of Guptas until the rise of Harshvardhan in the early 7th century, which of the following kingdoms were holding power in the northern India? So this type of question is also coming nowadays where they are asking the time period, the chronology of the dynasties. If we see the chronology of this, that is from the decline of Gupta until the rise of Harshvardhana. So Harshvardhana came in 7th century and Gupta just started declining in 5th century. So basically this is asking in between which were the kingdoms which came in, see Paramaraj of Malwa. They came in early medieval time, 10th century around. So it cannot be there. Yadvas of Devnagri, they were at the time of Khalji. So 13th century, they cannot be there. If you see the answer, Guptas of Magdha, Pusvitis of Thaneswar, Mokris of Kannoj and Matrakas of Ballavi. So answer is 
वन थ्री फोर सिक्स टू एंड फाइव कैन नॉट बी देयर वाई बिकॉज दिस इज इन टेंथ एलेवेंथ सेंचुरी एंड दिस इज इन थर्टीन फोर्टीन सेंचुरी बट द आइडिया विच वी कैन टेक इज वी हैव टू ऑल्सो सी द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ वेरियस डायनेस्टीज एट वॉट टाइम विच डायनेस्टी केम रोज एंड फॉल फॉल एंड वाई बिकॉज द डेट डिक्लाइन एंड देयर राइज बोथ आर बींग टारगेटेड बाई द यूपीएससी आस्ट बाई द यूपीएससी अनदर से हिस्टोरिकल प्लेस और साइट्स फ्रॉम एज आई एम टूलिंग यू अगेन एंड अगेन UPSC is asking the famous places, the well-known places from history. So this is Burjom is a rock cut shrine, not at all. Burjom is in Jammu and Kashmir, and it is not at all related to rock cut shrines. Rather, it is a Neolithic sites. It is a Neolithic site which is known for its pit dwelling. It is famous site. It is known for its pit dwelling where people used to construct pit inside the ground and used to sleep there because of the excessive winter. So Burjom is not. Rocket science. Another is Chandrakethugar. Chandrakethugar is in Bengal and it is terracotta art. This is correct. This is given in Upinder Singh, not in the regular book, but in Upinder Singh it is clearly given. The photograph is also given of the terracotta art of that place. Then is the Ganeshwar. Ganeshwar is a Chalcolithic site. It is a Chalcolithic site and it is related to what copper artifacts. It is related to copper artifacts. So this is also correct. So if you see two and three is the correct answer. That is D is the correct answer. As you can see, UPSC is asking famous places, historical places from different eras, and they are putting in one answer. Chandraketu Gar is from Mahajanpada period. Ganeshwar is from Chalcolithic period. Burjom is from Neolithic. They combined all three in one question. So you have to be very clear with various sites, various famous sites, so that you can easily. solve this chronological type of chronology type of questions also upsc is asking again and again moving to the next slide of 2021 questions if we see the 2021 questions what else were asked they had asked about the dramatist bhavabhuti hastimalla and chhameswar if we see the, all these three you may not be aware these are not given in the routine books also they have been asked from either romila thapar it is given it is given in upinder singh also and it is given in other book like krishna reddy's uh, ancient history also it is given so if we see this there is a bhavabhuti marg also in delhi if you see there is a bhavabhuti marg who was bhavabhuti he was a there is a dramatist of the kannakubja he was from a place kannakubja which is now kannauj so he used to be from there so these were dramatist but this is a difficult question why because it is not given in the routine book if we see the next question with reference to the history of ancient india it is about mitakshara and dayabhaga if we see the mitakshara and dayabhaga it is not given in the routine book it is given in romila thapar plus this was covered in indian express explained section in 2020 so if you are following indian express explained section so you could have directly answered this question so it is not covered in the routine book the answer for this is two only the answer for this is two only which of the following statements is correct see as i i was telling you ajanta cave is again making a comeback ajanta has been asked four five times in seven eight years so you can see the strike rate if we see ajanta caves which of the following it correct it is in the gorge of wagora river but what upsc is doing is every time it is increasing the difficulty level it is going more in more depth more factual like earlier they asked padmapani painting is there earlier they asked it is related to buddhist theme now they are going where it is located in next year they may ask something more related to this so when upsc is asking a particular thing you study that in depth because it can go deep into that so answer here is ajanta cave moving to the next slide that is 2022 questions if we see 2022 questions upsc has been following the same trend but increasing a bit a level of difficulty if we see here it is jain text so they have been asking about buddhism jainism re repeatedly various sects related to jainism various sects related to buddhism various scholars related to that now they are also asking about the various Jain text. If you have read a little bit, this Prasthit Parvan and this Mahapurana. Mahapurana is there in Jainism, and Prasthit Parvan related to Jainism. 
अवदान सत्का अवदाना इज रिलेटेड टू बुद्धिज्म सो दिस कैन नॉट बी देयर एंड नेति पकड़ाना इज ऑल्सो रिलेटेड टू बुद्धिज्म सो इट कैन ऑल्सो नॉट बी देयर सो टू एंड फोर इज द राइट आंसर बट द आइडिया इज कि यू शुड ट्राई टू कवर द टेक्स्ट रिलेटेड टू जैन एंड बुद्धिज्म बट बिकॉज दे आर नाउ आस्किंग अबाउट दीज थिंग्स एंड दिस इज नॉट गिवन इन द रूटीन बुक दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम विथ रेफरेंस टू द इंडियन हिस्ट्री कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग पेयर फर्स्ट इज द आर्य देव आर्य देव वॉज अ जैन स्कॉलर दिस इज रॉन्ग वाई बिकॉज आर्य देव वॉज अ बुद्धिस्ट स्कॉलर ही वॉज नॉट अ जैन स्कॉलर सो फर्स्ट टेक्स्ट देन द हिस्टोरिकल पर्सन द फेमस पर्सन दिग नाजा वॉज अ बुद्धिस्ट स्कॉलर करेक्ट नाथ मुनि वॉज अ वैष्णवा स्कॉलर दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट सो वन इज रॉन्ग सो ओनली टू पेयर्स आर करेक्ट बट आइडिया इज टेक्स्ट पर्सन ऑल दिज रिलेटेड टू जैनिज्म बुद्धिज्म वी नीड टू कवर प्लस यूपीएससी वॉट नाउ दे आर डूइंग इज within jainism and buddhism they are also introducing other elements to raise the difficulty level according to the kotalya's arth shastra which of the following are correct so now they are asking also about the kotalya's arth shastra this is bit difficult question why because you may not cover this much in detail kotalya's arth shastra a person could be a slave as a result of judicial punishment this is not correct judicial punishment cannot lead to a person becoming slave the other two statements are correct yes if a female slave bore her master a son she will become legally free and if a son is born out of a female slave then he is the he will be given the legal status of a master son so both these are correct so answer is 2 and 3 but this question is difficult to attempt why because you have to you need to know in detail about the kotalya's arth shastra moving to the next set of questions if we see the these two questions which were asked in 2022 one is again the sites the famous sites as i have been reiterating again and again the famous sites the famous personalities the famous scholars the famous books these are some of the themes which upsc league keeps on repeating so if we see the site one is the dholi dholi location of the dholi is in odisha this is correct dholi is located where it is located in odisha If we see the next, Ira Gudi is in Andhra Pradesh. Is it correct? Jogda is in Madhya Pradesh. Kalsi is in Karnataka. Kalsi cannot be in Karnataka. It is in Uttarakhand. Jogda cannot be in Madhya Pradesh. Why? Because it is in Odisha. Ira Gudi is where in Andhra Pradesh. This is correct. So answer is only two pair. So if we see the this question. you have to just know know that these places are located in which states if you know the states where they are located you can easily solve them so it is not that difficult but then you have to be very careful with all these sites which are given in the ncrts and other textbooks because they are asking directly from sites next question is which one of the following statement about sangam literature sangam literature is also an area which is being asked from last two years so you can expect a question next year also from sangam it is asking that sangam poets are devoid of any reference to material culture this is completely wrong they talk about material culture the social classification of varna was known this is correct they knew about the varna system it was known to them why because communication between north and south had started by the sangam age so we cannot say that they were not knowing the varna but yes they were not following it why because in their society the classification was bit different it was arasar anthanar velilar and vanigar so it was not related to our brahman kshatriya vaisya and sudra but they were definitely knowing the varna system so this statement is correct there is no reference to warrior ethics this is completely wrong why because sangam poets celebrate love and war so it is all about love and war you cannot say there is no reference they refer to the magical forces as irrational this is also wrong they do not refer to them as irrational because at that point of time there were many things which they used to consider at right so sangam literature is another area which is asked in 2022 and it was again asked in 2023 as we will see so if we see the 2023 answers if we see the first question in which of the following dhanya katka see again again a site and again it has been asked and this is directly covered where in ncert the theme wala ncert which is there the new ncert it is directly given in a map dhanyakatka dhanyakatka is located where andhra pradesh 
prominent Buddhist center under Mahasanghikas and located where in Andhra Pradesh. As I have been reiterating again and again, various sites related to ancient India directly being asked. Again, see ports. Muchiri, Pumpuhar and Korkai. Pumpuhar is directly given where in NCRT. You can directly see from the Thimwala NCRT. And these were what? Ports. As we had seen earlier also 2-3 years back, there was this Chol, Ghantsal, these, these ports were asked. Again, ports have been asked. So, port is another area which you should cover. With reference to ancient India, consider the following. The concept of stoop. This is also given where? In NCRT. So, if you see the 2023 question, a lot of questions have been directly picked up from where? The new theme wala NCRT. So, if we see this the concept of a stoop is Buddhist in origin. This is wrong. Why? Because this is pre-Buddhist, not Buddhist. Before Buddhism also, there was this concept of Buddhism. This is directly given in the NCRT. Stupas were generally a repository of relics. Correct. Stupas were a votive and commentary of structure in Buddhist tradition. This is also correct. So, answer is only two. Which of the following explains the practice of Vatta Kiruthal? As mentioned in Sangam, see Sangam is coming again. In 2022, they, 2022 also they asked about Sangam literature. Again, they asked about Sangam poems and they have given a term. Vatta Kiruthal. This is not covered in the regular books. This is given in Upinder Singh's uh, optional book for history. So, if we see what it means, it means a king defeated in a battle committing ritual suicide by starving himself to death. This is the answer for this. The kings who used to lose because they were the ones, as I told you, the Sangam people, they used to celebrate war and love. So, when you, they used to lose in war, they used to feel humiliated and out of that they used to commit, they used to starve themselves to death. So, answer is D. So, terminology is related to Sangam, you should go through. The next question is, souls are not only the property of animal and plant life. Basically, they are saying that whether it is animate or inanimate, whether it is living or non-living, all have souls. There is only one school of thought, only one religious belief which talks about this and that is Jainism. So, this is a question from Jainism. See, one question from Jainism, another question from this Buddhist center, Mahadhanyakatka. So, Buddhism again giving you rich dividends if you cover them. Moving to the next slide related to 2023 itself because a lot of questions, 8 questions were asked in 2023 from ancient India. So, if we see this 46th question, Devi Chandraguptan Vilhana, no this is this is incorrect. Why? Because Devi Chandraguptan was not written by, rather it was written by Bishak Datta. It was written by Bishak Datta. Again, author and literary work. It, is, it has been asked before also. Again, UPSC is asking literary work and the author. So, you should cover them. So, Devi Chandra Gupta was written by Bisak Datta, not Bilhana. In the same way, if we talk about Amir Mahakavya, it was written by Naya Chandra Suri. This is correct. Naya Chandra Suri was a Jain monk, a Jain scholar and he had written this. This is a Sanskrit poem. So, this is correct. Next is the Milind Panho written by Nagarjuna. Yes, Nagasena who was also called Nagarjuna had written this Milind Panho. So, yes, it can be right. Next is Somdev Suri. Somdev Suri was a Jain monk and he had written about this Niti Vyakar Amrita. So, yes, Niti Vakya Amrita, sorry. Niti Vakya Amrita was written by Somdev Suri. So, this is also correct. So, answer is only three. But the idea is we should cover the author and the literary works as far as possible. See, there are n number of literary works and authors. We cannot cover all. But yes, the Jainism part, the Buddhism part and the famous authors and their works, we should try to cover because repeatedly questions are being asked from that area. Again, site. As I have been telling you people, site is one place. Various sites, UPSC from ancient India is repeatedly asking various famous sites, famous places. Like in this, this waste nagar, earlier they, I told you, Vilsa had come, right? Vilsa is nothing but Vidisa. Vidisa's old name is only waste nagar. So, waste nagar is, has been asked again repeatedly. And waste nagar is not related to Saivite Cave Shrine. Why? Because there is this pillar of Heriodotus in waste nagar. And it is of Vasudev, not Saiva. So, this is not related to Saiva. Another is Bhaja related to Buddhist cave shrine. This is correct. Bhaja is in Pune and there are around 20 plus 
बुद्धिस्ट केव ओवर देयर सो दिस इज करेक्ट सितान वसल वॉज रिलेटेड टू जैन केव सितान वसल इज इन तमिलनाडु एंड इट इज रिलेटेड टू जैन केव इट इज अंडर द पलवास दैट केव्स वेर कंस्ट्रक्टेड ओवर देयर सो टू एंड थ्री सो ओनली टू इज करेक्ट इन दिस बट दिस इज अबाउट साइट्स प्लस बुद्धिस्ट एंड जैनिज सो बेसिकली जैन रिलेटेड साइट्स बुद्धिस्ट रिलेटेड साइट्स वी शुड ट्राई टू कवर बिकॉज यूपीएससी इज नाउ मिक्सिंग देम इन इन अ फॉर्म वेर यू हैव टू ऑल्सो नो द अदर साइट्स एंड बुद्धिस्ट जैन साइट्स विथ रेफरेंस टू द इंडियन हिस्ट्री एलेक्जेंडर रिया ए एच लॉन्ग हस्ट एंड रॉबर्ट सोवेल रॉबर्ट बुर्गिस एंड वॉल्टर इलियट आर एसोसिएटेड विथ सी यू मे नॉट बी अवेयर ऑफ दीज नेम्स बट वन नेम इज देयर गिवेन इन एन सी आर टी दिस वॉल्टर इलियट ही हैड he was responsible for excavating amravati so it is given where in theme wise wala ncert it is given walter elliot and this alexander ria it was in news also why in the hindu it had come that he he was responsible for a place in uh, tamil nadu that is adichanalur adichanalur is the place in tamil nadu he was involved in excavation of that place it is a megalithic site so if you know these two people you can find the answer so this is from current alexander ria it had come in the hindu as well as even if you have not read about alexander ria if you are read about walter elliot and his work in amravati in ncert then also you can attempt this question so 81 ka a is the right answer so as we have seen there are a lot of areas in ancient history including culture from where upsc is asking questions repeat, repeatedly so we need to do what we need to focus on them the, the, those areas plus the ncert especially the theme wala ncert they are asking questions from that also directly so we should focus on that another in addition to that they are asking from romila thapar upinder singh a student who is not from history optional background he should not go for these books because they are very bulky so one or two questions will be always there which you will not be able to attend so don't run after them rather focus on those things which you can do so ncert is one thing which you can easily do and you should focus on them i will be listing a number of areas which upsc is asking again and again for you people so that you focus on them so as we have seen the first area which upsc is asking again and again is so the first area is buddhism and jainism from which upsc is asking repeatedly and they are not just asking about some sects which they use now they are going in deep they they are asking about various scholars various books various concepts like they asked about jainism that all animate and inanimate all have soul this is basically the core concept of jainism from where they are asking so buddhism jainism in depth they are asking second thing that they are asking is various terms various terminologies like we saw lot of terms like vishti like kulid vapa all these are what various terms related to history which they are asking repeatedly so terminology is another thing ancient history terminology which should, you should focus on then in last two years we have also seen question coming from sangam literature sangam age we should see them also sangam wala buddhism jainism terminology sangam literature another area if you see they are asking lot of questions from important sites famous places important sites or famous places plus personalities these personalities include scholars they include Jain and Buddhist monks, like this, they include poets, they include dramatists. But yes, famous personalities, like we saw, they have also asked about the various personalities, like archaeologists. So yes, various personalities from ancient India, they are asking. 
first they had asked about this james princip then they last year they asked about the other personalities like alexander ria and iliot so personalities is another area sites is another area from which upsc is asking question repeatedly in addition to that if you see the maurya period <clears throat> in addition to that if you see the maurya period then ashoka is another area ashoka his inscriptions places associated that is also another area from which upsc ask question because ashoka is a favorite of upsc so we should look for that in addition to this important books important books also upsc is asking again and again so we should also look for them while we are studying for ancient history we should also try to cover these books these personalities if we see the ivc and rig vedic people not many questions have been asked from rig vedic people to in last 7 8 years only one question was there and in ivc they are going for various sites like we saw they had asked about chanhu daro koddi ji desalpur dhola vira these are the things they are asking repeatedly they are going for the specific sites and its uniqueness so you can also look for ivc sites rig vedic people they are not asking many questions but they can ask so we should remain prepared for that also in addition to this what are the things which upsc is asking again and again more or less these are the areas from upsc is asking again and gupta period is another area gupta period is another area because the navratnas of chandragupta 2 and their creation like amar simha like kalidas they are being asked repeatedly in addition one important area is chronology of various dynasties chronology of various dynasties so upsc is also asking repeatedly a lot of questions on these various dynasties and their chronology so these are the areas on which you should focus while preparing for ancient history you should try to cover everything but these are the area on which you should put more focus more emphasis why because questions are repeatedly coming from them so that's all in the trend analysis of ancient history and its culture part in next video i will be coming with medieval history part along with the culture part of medieval included in that this trend analysis will i will be finishing in three videos one for ancient another for medieval and another for modern that's all today thank you